Show That's another one on the cut bluegill. Yeah, nailed it too. He took that rod over hard. <laughs> oh, got the mayflies. I turned that light on in there. On it. I noticed we well, at that time of year I was over there getting bait there on the shoreline and them trees are just loaded with mayflies. That's gonna pull now. Look at that and go. He's just a digging. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's pull him up. Get a first look. Oh yeah, that's a flathead. Oh flatty. All right, y'all. Nice flathead there. He ain't very long, but he's heavy for his size. He's got some belly on him there. <laughs> ain't that uh, cut bluegill? Yeah. My live bluegill and cut bluegill are, what, eight foot apart down there? And he chose the cut bluegill. People tell me all the time, you're going to catch them on live bait, but yet I come out here and catch them on cut bait all the time. This uh, fresher the better with the cut bait. All right, let's let him go. Bye, Mr. Flathead. There you go. Well, so much for the release shot. I turned the camera off instead of turning it on. Oh, if I wasn't the cameraman, I'd fire myself. <laughs> Lower that bait back down there. Let's see if we can do it again. Hopefully get some more flatheads tonight. I was hoping tonight maybe I would. I went out like I said last night and I was on the water five hours and didn't do worth a crap. I got one flathead um, which was a nice flathead. Just beautiful fish. It was had like a marble color to it. It's black and uh, brown but uh, that was the only action I got. It was pretty cool though. I was reeling in that flathead and I had a little blue cat come up right beside him and he just trying to rip the bait out of his mouth. I actually got it on camera uh, surprisingly. Uh, in the night there, but uh, that was it. That was the only action I got last night, so I'm hoping tonight will be a little better. Another fish on. Ooh, look at that one pull now. Look at that one pull. Well, he made a run. Straight for that other line, too, didn't he? <laughs> of course he did. Now it's going to strip a little drag. Buddy, this one right here may actually be a decent fish. This one ate uh, the cut bluegill. I had that half a piece left there after I'd got that flathead on. I think this is going to be a, a better fish right here. We'll get this other camera going for it. That one spun the kayak around, man. He hit it and took off. He ain't rolling down there. I don't know if it's a flathead or... Maybe it's just a blue that's just taking his time on me. Oh no, man. That's no good. Why don't you look at this right here, y'all. I've got a good fish. A real good fish and he's in my anchor rope. Look at that. That's a real good fish. Real good fish. And that's my anchor rope he's all messed up in. Alright, let me put this camera down here. I gotta get this fish out of this anchor rope before I lose him. That fish hit the bait so hard and spun, he swam back and spun the kayak and got me all up in my anchor rope. The current's out, it's done for the night there. The TVA shut the generators off at midnight and it's around one-ish right now. So the current's done for. So my kayak's just kind of at the mercy of the wind and the fish. I may get lucky here. Maybe I'll be getting him out of it, hopefully, without losing him. Because that is a good fish, y'all. This may be the biggest fish I've ever caught on bluegill. Bluegill has not been a not been a bait that's been good to me. But this one here is a good fish. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, he's still there. He's still there. I thought he'd pop the hook on that anchor rope. Man, he got me soaking wet this time. This is a damn mess in this anchor rope, buddy. Alright. We bring in the anchor rope the fish and all in, buddy. <laughs> what a mess, man. What an absolute mess, but that fish is worth it. I'll take that problem all the time. <laughs> That's a damn mess, ain't it? But this one has done it. He's clamped down on my fingers. I can't get his mouth open. Let's get him up here, y'all. Let's get him up here. <laughs> yes. What a beast, man. Cut me in my anchor rope. I had to pull the anchor in to land him. That is a tank. That's the biggest one I've ever got on bluegill. Biggest one I've ever got. <laughs> man, that's awesome. That's a big fish. This is not only a long fish, but he is heavy. He's got some marks here on his fin, on the top of his head. This one's probably come off the nest recently, too. Let's hold him back up again. Look at that. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Look at that. That made my night right there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set him down just a minute. I'll get my board set up and we'll get a length on him. All right, y'all. Oh, that fish is over 45 inches. <laughs> what a bruiser. All right. Well, let's turn him into a 46 plus incher by letting him go. Hopefully I'll hook into him again someday. Maybe one of you all will too. He took my glove with him. <laughs> he ripped my glove off my hand. He was clamped down on my thumb. Man, that hurt. He took my glove off with him. He said he's going to go down there and tell his friends about this alien abduction and have proof that he was on a spaceship. <laughs> Man. He just tore my thumb up. Whew. I'm more out after that, y'all. I am more out. 